My name is Arthur Jeffs. I play with Penguin Cafe, which is a continuation of my dad's original band, Penguin Cafe Orchestra. And they went from the early 70s until he died in the late 90s. The way my dad described it, you could have music which was instantly familiar, but you had no chance of remembering where from. A sort of dreamlike music. This amazing artist called Nelly Ben Hayun. She'd organised all the people at NASA Ames who play an instrument into a band, into a sort of orchestra, which she called the International Space Orchestra. And then they commissioned pieces for it, and I wrote two pieces. When it was all done and dusted, it got sent up to the International Space Station and beamed into deep space as part of the Kepler project to search for evidence of extraterrestrial intelligences. I went to school with a great old friend. She became an astrophysicist. After I'd done the project with NASA, she just went, well, you could, I suppose, turn these into music. And she played me these sounds, which are um, the models that they were using of gravitational waves. They just sound completely amazing. And so that just naturally informed the first couple of pieces I was doing. We're building a project which will hopefully be able to roll out into you know, projected dome 360. They're sort of quite orchestral strings that I've been using to make it accessible. It's just really nice when you're mixing strings and horns on the rise. Which I really like. It's a release to be able to be playing with multiple instruments from an orchestral perspective. It would normally take, you know, 20 minutes, takes two minutes. You do that again and again and again, and then all of a sudden you've built up enormous textures. It makes my life much easier. <laughs> I want to create an experience that isn't just about the science, but isn't just about the music. If someone doesn't understand the science at all, the music is an alternative route into what's kind of wonderful about these sounds. Doing it musically means that you can kind of connect with it. It takes something very kind of big and unhuman, but you take that and then chop it up and make it into music then it really does sort of humanise the universe. Mm -hmm.